Hello, welcome to Prime Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a 2015 thriller movie called The Boy Next Door. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Claire Peterson is about to divorce her husband Garrett after he was found cheating on her with his secretary. She throws him out, causing a schism between them and their son Kevin. Vicky Lansing, Claire's closest friend, stands by her and pushes her to file the divorce papers quickly and leave Garrett for forever. Garrett comes up for dinner on Kevin's birthday. Following a business trip to San Francisco, where his affair occurred, he invites Claire and Kevin on a fishing excursion. Claire refuses the offer, but Kevin is allowed to accompany his father. She is still deeply wounded by the lie. Claire is getting ready to take Kevin out one day when their garage door becomes stuck. Claire attempts to unlock it and is assisted by a young guy called Noah Sanborn. He is Claire's wheelchair-bound neighbor's nephew. Noah offers to assist with the garage door repair. He goes to the hardware shop with Kevin. Following their departure, Noah's uncle informs Claire that Noah's parents died the previous year, and he is still grieving. The boys proceed to the hardware shop, where Kevin discovers that Noah will be attending the same high school as him, where Claire is a teacher. Kevin observes a girl from his school, Allie Callahan, who works there after they receive their belongings. He has a crush on her but is too shy to approach her. Noah persuades him to approach her and speak with her. Noah introduces himself to Allie while Kevin leaves to pay. Moments later, three punks on skateboards headed by Jason Zimmer enter and harass Kevin in front of Allie and Noah. While his uncle is in the hospital, Noah spends a lot of time with Kevin and Claire asks him to lunch with them and Vicky. Claire notes that she teaches ancient literature at school, which prompts Noah to cite Homer and show his admiration for the Iliad. Claire is definitely taken aback by this. Later, Noah finds Claire's stilettos in a box, which she claimed were a present from Vicky. Noah remarks that the shoes are for gorgeous ladies, and that Claire doesn't need to try. He apologizes for being overly direct. Claire is getting ready to go out while Kevin and Garrett are going on their holiday. When she glances out the window, she sees Noah nude in his room. He notices her staring at him, but she ducks behind the curtains. Claire goes on a double date with Vicky and her boyfriend Ethan in a restaurant with his pal Cooper. Cooper is a jerk who mocks Claire's love of ancient literature and labels her a firecracker when she defends her point of view. She also catches him examining a waitress. Claire exits the restaurant and returns home. Noah phones Claire to inform her that he attempted to thaw a chicken in the microwave. He invites her to come over and assist him in properly cooking it. She eventually goes over and stays to eat the chicken with him after they properly prepare it. Noah continues to flirt with Claire, and although she is intrigued, she believes it is inappropriate. Noah begins to kiss her and feel her up, and she is unable to resist. They had incredibly passionate sex as a result. Claire begins to regret what occurred the night before the following morning. She informs Noah that what they did was wrong, but it enraged him to the point that he strikes a wall and bloodies his knuckles. Kevin and Garrett have returned from their journey. They're having lunch with Claire when Noah appears. Noah asks Claire whether she informed the boys what occurred while they were gone, and she brings in a tray of cookies. She mentions a heavy downpour, to which Noah smugly responds, It got extremely wet over there. I adore your mother's cookies. Noah says as Kevin hands him a cookie, the school year starts, and as Claire begins her first lesson, the principal enters and informs her that Noah has joined their class, despite the fact that he made it look as though Claire had asked that he move into her class. She realizes he has hacked her computer. Kevin and Noah hang together. Despite Claire's growing discomfort with Noah, Noah leads Kevin into the woods. Armed with his uncle's revolver, he creates an orange production line and manipulates Kevin into loathing his father for cheating on Claire. When Garrett walks over to the dining table and Kevin screams at him, Kevin joins Noah in the school gym, where he vents his rage on a punching bag. Kevin overexerts himself and goes into shock. Noah dashes to Kevin's locker and takes his epipen. He rescues Kevin by inserting it into his leg. Vicky sends Claire flowers at work that she believes Garrett sent. When Claire phones him, he denies having sent anything. She assumes Noah is the one who sent them and confronts him in the gym. When a teacher observes this, she shoves Noah. Kevin returns to the hardware shop to invite Allie to a movie. She says she can't, but she'd want to accompany him to the autumn fun. Claire and Garrett go on a date, and he begins to become physical with her. She is still unhappy over the affair, but Garrett is determined to start anew. Noah observes all of this and confronts Claire about it the following morning. Enraged, Kevin apprehends them and, since he's still angry with his parents, travels to school with Noah. Jason and his pals approach Kevin and annoy him. When Noah walks in, Kevin confronts Jason and kicks him against the locker. 
repeatedly pounding his skull against it. Vicky rushes in to break up the brawl, only to be pushed by Noah. A larger instructor drags him away. Noah is taken to the principal's office, where Vicky, the vice principal, informs him that the school never received Noah's transcript from his former school. Since he was expelled for disruptive behavior, Noah responds by calling her a dried up disgusting fucking cunt. Vicky reaches out to hit him, but he catches it. He flees as she evicts him. Claire chaperones the autumn romp, leaving Kevin with Allie. Claire is informed by Allie of a leak in the boys' restroom. When she goes to turn off the sink, she notices I fucked Claire Peterson written in bold letters on the wall. Noah enters from the shadows and attempts to impose himself on Claire, only to get kicked in the balls. She advises him to keep his distance from her and Kevin. Claire's pupils are shut out of class the following day. When she unlocks the door and looks inside, she sees something terrible. She takes her kids outside and discovers hundreds of images of her and Noah having sex all over the classroom, with many more being printed out. Claire unplugs the printer and hurriedly attempts to remove the photos as the principal arrives. She invites the students in by opening the door. The principal conveys his worry about Claire's recent conduct and informs her of what he has heard about her altercation with Noah in the gym. Garrick gets Kevin up from school and drives him home in his vehicle. Kevin drives fiercely, still bitter of his father. He drives much too quickly and is unable to halt because his brakes have failed. Kevin almost collides with two automobiles until Garrett assists him in swerving into a row of water containers on the road. Claire gets home and notices Garrett's vehicle has a ding. He and Kevin refuse to tell Claire what occurred and convince her that they are both alright. She discovers them watching television with Noah. He follows her into the kitchen, where she informs him about the photographs. He informs her they recorded their night together and that she must come to his place if she wants to see it. Claire returns later that night, but no pledges to give her the footage only if she keeps sleeping with him. She refuses and walks away. Claire tells Vicky everything and requests her assistance. Claire is told to go inside Noah's residence and locate the tape herself. Noah pursues what he believes to be Claire's automobile, only to come face to face with Vicky. He reverses his automobile leading Vicky to contact Claire as she breaks into Noah's home. The camera is discovered hiding behind a clock above the fireplace. She enters down the basement and discovers hundreds of photos of herself plastered all over the walls. Claire searches Noah's laptop for the video and photo files. She throws everything away before seeing two more files with images of brakes, hinting that Noah was the one who removed the brakes from Garrett's automobile as well as a minivan. Claire returns upstairs and is surprised to see Noah's uncle arrive. She dashes back home. Claire meets with a detective and discovers that Noah's parents died in a vehicle accident when his father veered into a lorry. She is led to the wreckage of the automobile, assuming it is the identical minivan noted in Noah's laptop. Claire phones Vicky at home and is surprised when the door is slammed. Vicky urges Claire to come to her home with Kevin because she believes it's Noah. When the door opens, it's only Kevin. Vicky is smacked over the head by Noah after the women hang together. Noah calls Kevin and invites him to Vicky's home. He has Vicky bound and gag as he phones Claire and asks her to come over using a tape of Vicky's voice. Claire arrives to Vicky's residence. It's dark and the lights have been turned off. Claire is startled by Vicky's cat and slips into the closet, which opens and reveals Vicky's dead corpse. Noah slit her throat. Claire cries and flees the home. She dials 911 just as Noah locates her, takes her out of the vehicle. She informs him that she is aware he murdered his parents. Noah claims that he had bored his mother, but she committed suicide when his father cheated on her. And he murdered his father and the mistress by cutting the brakes of the minivan. Noah leads Claire to a farm home where he has Garrett and Kevin restrained. Noah threatens to murder them both if Claire does not consent to remain with him. She takes a wrench and whacks him on the head with it. She rushes up to Kevin and attempts to untie him, but Noah wakes up and pulls Claire away. He gets some kerosene and splatters it over Garrett and Kevin. When Claire pushes him and forces him to drop the lighter, the kerosene ignites. The barn home bursts into flames. Garrett frees himself and ties the rope around Noah's neck with his wrists. Noah pulls out his rifle and shoots Garrett in the chest once. Claire steals Kevin's epipen and pokes Noah in the eye. She returns to untie Kevin, but Noah continues to attack her. She pokes her finger into his eye, causing pus and blood to seep out. Kevin shatters the rope and whacks Noah with a chunk of wood, prompting Noah to shove him off. He points his rifle at Kevin and adds that heroes must sometimes make tough decisions. Claire contacts Noah, tells him, You're no hero, before flipping a switch that dumps an engine on Noah, killing him. Claire and Kevin get Garrett out of the burning barn home. 
Paramedics and police officers arrive on the scene. Claire and Kevin accompany Garrett as he is wheeled into the ambulance. She continues to reassure Garrett that everything would be okay and that they will be returning home soon. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and please like and share the video. Thank you for watching.